I'm, I'm in Spain. <laughs> Hello everybody, how are you doing? And welcome to my first ever voiceover video. I ate loads of food in Spain, in Galicia, and here is a summary, somehow, of all the beautiful food we had. Okay guys, let's start with Bar La Tida in Santiago de Compostela, which is where we were staying, and this bar is very, very special, because if you go inside and buy any drink, you get this Spanish tortilla completely for free. So obviously we had to try it at 11 a.m. in the morning, and if you look at my face right now, you know it was very good. Seafood. Where do I start? So we had one of the best seafoods selection choices I've ever had in my life. I expected nothing less. Here's a little summary. So these are some incredible mussels. These are also some mussels, but in fact they are clams as I'm saying it. These were with garlic and butter and they were fantastic. I ate all of them, regretted nothing. And then we also had some baby squid out of this world and we had a lot of octopus. Octopus one. Then there is octopus number two prepared by this lovely gentleman at La Galiciana, which was a food market in Santiago where we went. And this is Paul, my fellow traveler. He writes an amazing travel blog called Global Help Swap. Check it out. And we enjoyed the octopus and also the beer. Cheers! So the portions <laughs> in Galicia are very big. <laughs> so this is for one person in fact it is called filled pineapple it's filled with prawns and monkfish and all the delicious stuff but um, comment below would you be able to finish this? Oh is it a starter? <laughs> <laughs> it's a starter, guys. <laughs> what would be a Spanish food video without wine? So here is us visiting a winery called Pazo Bayon, and here's me explaining how the wine gets so tasty. And we also got a sneaky peek behind the scenes, which was super interesting. We got to look inside one of the tanks. Here's the wine, not quite ready yet. But overall, Albariño from Pazo Bayon was delicious. One of my favorite white wines I've tried in a very long time, and this is the view. Wow. <laughs> and we also went to Taberna de Trasno, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, where we tried Santiago Roma, also in Albariño, and it was amazing. And look at how carefully I'm putting the glass down, I enjoyed this a lot. All the links of the bars and restaurants that we visited are down below, by the way, so check them out for inspiration for when you want to go. And oh, look, there's Paul drinking some wine. Hey, Paul, what, what do you think of the wine? You're not going to like it, just give it to me. <laughs> and I also wanted to share something with you guys that you probably do not expect from Spanish food. So this is La Galiciana, the food market that I spoke about earlier. And in fact, we discovered a vegan food stand there. Now, I am not vegan myself, but here you can see a vegan Spanish tortilla. So they cater for everyone in northern Spain, which I thought was pretty amazing. Saving the best for last, look at these two cheeses here in the middle, the light one and the slightly darker one. Do they remind you of anything? We are <laughs> done with our tour of Santiago and we're buying some presents for the people back home. And right now I'm buying a cheese that is shaped like a boob. Here they are. And um, the story behind them is very beautiful. Essentially the Archbishop once upon a time said to a woman with very large breasts that she needs to hide them because they were in his way. So the women of the town felt very, very upset and started making cheese in the shape of boobs. That is a true story. <laughs> so I'm gonna buy some for home. Thank you very much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed my first ever voiceover video and leave a comment down below if you're hungry right now after watching this video and if you're planning to go and visit Galicia, Santiago or Northern Spain and thank you for watching. I say that twice every time. <laughs> I will see you soon. Bye bye.